Hi, it's Chef and Biller Janie Pendleton. We are back in my master bathroom, actually, my ensuite, because somebody had asked, well, I've had several people ask me if I would do just an everyday summer makeup tutorial for the older woman. Um, I'm going to be 50 in um, just a few months. Okay, two months, all right? Two months. Um, and somebody asked me how I keep my skin so smooth and everything. Um, Dove soap, once in a while. I don't use it every day because I find that I have very sensitive skin and even with the Dove soap, I can still break out with it. Like I broke out down all through here with a little bit of the Dove soap. So I just use my Olay Pro X. Let's see if we can see this better here. The cleanser there. And I use the matching. And I also had somebody mention the fact that they thought that my hair looked extra, and I know it's wet right now, but that my hair looked extra silky smooth and not near as, I'm sorry, I think the sun, it's raining out, so we got kind of an overcast day today, but I need to put a curtain or something on that window, don't I? But anyway, I use the Fortifying Shampoo from Fructis, Garner Fructis. This is just a complete defense shampoo. I use that. And I found these at Big Lots, and I really like them a lot. They are the Biolux uh, uh, Science and Natural Solutions for Hair. There you go. It's called Biolux. It's a polishing conditioner. If you can see that, Biolux. Maybe I can show it to you this way a little better. And this one has a uh, professional collection with olive oil to add softness, shine, and strength to dull dry hair. And I picked this up at Big Lots for $2. This one right here is the, and this right here is the polishing conditioner with the olive oil. And then this one right here, it has the pro vitamin B5 in it. And it uh, gives wheat protein to give hair a silky smooth finish. And I add this with it. So I actually get both of these yeah. now. But anyway, there's the Biolux. I right. use as much of the uh, pro vitamin B as I do the olive oil. And I let, and I just put that in my hair after washing it. And, um, and I just let that soak for about so about 30 seconds to a minute and then I rinse that out really well and I just absolutely love this this even makes my skin smooth after it washes down my skin so it makes it real smooth okay then if my skin is dry as per usual I'll use the calendula cream okay and I love this stuff it smells so good I just put this all over and this is what keeps my hands looking nice and not so dry. I use it on my neck and it keeps my neck from having that saggy neck uh, uh, look right there. And for any dry patches that I might get. And then on my face, I try to use something on my face under the makeup. This has argan oil in it and it's vitamin E and it's ultra hydrating, yeah, ultra hydrating body cream. But anyway, there it is, and I got this at the dollar store. And I just put a little bit of this on as well, and um, all over my face and my neck, earlobes, because you know you wear earrings and these can get creased. I'm starting to get a little crease in my, my earlobe, not like that. And then of course I put it all over my face really well. I've already done that. Okay, so anyway, you want to find some sort of a uh, face cream that works for you that doesn't break you out. That doesn't break me out, and I have extremely sensitive skin. All right, so here I just got my hair back. So I can keep the, the bangs kind of tucked back while I put on my makeup here. And it also helps my bangs stay folded over when they're dry. And it gives me a nice side bang. But I've always had bangs and I can't grow them out. I've got a natural part right here and I've got a widow's peak. It will not let me grow my long bangs out like, like I would really like to have in a wisp. Well, let me do it. And then my daughter caught, cut five inches off my hair. I mean, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I do have a little bit more of a tan on my face in the summer. All right, so what I'm going to start out with is I went a little tone darker on the CoverGirl Smoothers, and I got the 725. If you can see that. I got the 725 on the Smoothers. And I just put a couple of dots here across my face, just like this. I take my angled flat, and I just smear that in. Like I said, I've already done this step, but I'll do it again. This just makes for a nice smooth surface for me to put. It gives me some nice highlights down the middle of my face. Um, fills in the smaller wrinkles better. And it really helps my makeup to stay adhered and it helps my makeup to stay on all day. Okay, and we just push that on down the, the face here. Try not to get any on the clothes. If you want, you can put like a cloth or something. 
here. I don't really usually go down my neck too much with the makeup, so just kind of blend that in. Make sure it's not on the ears here. Make sure you get under the nose. Can you see me all right with that light? Here, I'll try to stand here a little bit better. Let me turn my camera so I can stand a little better spot here for you. I don't know, was you able to see me or not? I don't know. I'm sorry if you couldn't see me there. Okay, so there it is. Like I said, it's a very rainy day out. Try to get in this area here. And I just work that into all the creases and give myself a nice all over face glow. Remember in this area you want to pat, you don't want to pull. And here's a good way. I'm all packed for our trip. So everything's in this little box that I have here. It's all ready for my trip. And I just let that dry for a few minutes. And this gives me a nice base for my makeup. And again, that's just the CoverGirl Smoothers, if you can see that okay. And that's the 725. That's for fair skin. I have very fair skin. So in the summer, I might, in the winter, I might go like a 710 or a 720. But it's summer and I have a little bit more of a burn tan. So I go with a little bit more rosy tone, all over more rosy. Do I look a little bit more rosy? So, oh, and when I started out, I definitely started out with some chapstick, okay? All right, I feel that that's pretty good and dry. And by the way, these were just favors that I handed out these fans. So you can see it better here. These fans were just things that I um, that I handed out at my daughter's wedding. They were wedding favors. And all the women love them, and they're sandalwood, so they smell like sandalwood perfume. Mm, now good. next, that that's dry, I'm going to kind of start kind of contouring just a little bit. I, okay. So next, I'm going to be using the 845 pump of the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. And again, it's the 845. And I'm just going to pump some of this just on my fingers, just like this right here. See that? And then I take it like this. And I start doing my contour areas right here with that. A little bit more. You don't need a lot. I mean, that the, the smoother... For the summer look, I mean, you don't want it to look pasty. Okay, so I'm just kind of dotting it on here and there where I kind of want to blend it in a little bit. I'm going to take that same brush that I kind of wiped off here on my towel, same angled flat brush, and I'm just going to throw into the light again. I'm trying to keep you out of the light there. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. And I'm just going to kind of blend it in. Over the eyes, just a little bit right here. And we will be re-highlighting that again here in just a minute. And you don't have to rub this one in quite as much, but just kind of blend. I'm kind of patting and blending. I'm not really going like this as much as I'm just kind of patting and blending it. I'm going to contour a little bit more, and this is my IT Cosmetics. I got this off eBay for about half the price what I paid for it, but they sent me the wrong color. They sent me the color Rich in the Celebration Foundation, and this is all made in the USA, and it's not tested on animals. But um, I'm not, I do not break out with it, which, um, which is a good thing. So that's me. I don't break out with it, and I have very highly sensitive skin. So, um, and I get headaches as well, and this has no scent to it, so it doesn't bother me scent-wise either. And I think all of these things that I showed you, they really don't have much of a scent. This makeup tutorial is also for the migraine sufferers as well. I've had to come up with makeups that didn't give me migraines. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps you. So anyway, I decided since they didn't give me the fair color I was supposed to get, that this would be great for um, highlighting and really does work. It gives me a nice summer uh, tan look. So I just lightly just tap it on there, just lightly. Just get a little bit on the, the brush there and I bring it in right through here and right through here. And then I kind of blend that up just a little bit by patting it. Now this is great. It really doesn't show my wrinkles or anything like that. It really helps cover those up. At the wedding, everybody said how rich and how wonderful my skin looked. And you can see just a little bit of this rich color. And I think it was a happy accident that they sent this to me. And again, I'm just going to kind of highlight the shadow areas to make me have a little bit more of a contoured looking jawline. And bring that down just a little bit. You don't want a lot because this is a very rich color on, um, on fair skin. 
All right, now we're going to blend it, blend it. And again, that was the it in, in the color rich. Okay, now we're going to take that same brush, that same angled flat brush. Some of you will say I'm using the wrong brush, but this is what I started using. And this just works for me. So use what brush you're comfortable with when you're, it's like when I tell people, when I teach people how to watercolor paint, uh, use the brush that works the design best for you. Don't, don't do what everybody else is doing. You're the, you're the painter. Well, it's like an artist of the face as well. So just blend it in. If you have to use your hands, try not to pull too hard. This is a little bit harder makeup to blend. Sometimes I end up using my, my hand actually. And again, I'm just going to wash my hands really quickly here. Uh, next, I'm going to set it with a um, just a powder by CoverGirl. It's just a simple, but you could use your Bare Minerals makeup. That would be fine. Not a lot. You don't want a lot. And again, if you're wearing a white t-shirt or anything white, you don't want to do that. You don't want your makeup rubbing on your collar or your shirt. And this just gets any extra oils and it kind of sets the makeup. That's all that's really for. It gets rid of any... Sometimes when you're older, a shinier face can be make you look a little better. But I don't like a shiny looking oily face, so... And then I kind of get rid of any extra there. And to do that, I'm just using my, my big old puffy brush. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take, this is called Clean, um, the Invisible Concealer. See the color number, it's just called Clear. It's a light, it's a fair oh. color, okay? That's, and it's called Clean, okay? So, and I love this stuff for contouring. So now watch how this starts to look different. And I'm sorry about the light. Let me try to get here where you can do this a little better. I bring it up my nose, bring some light up into this area right here. Right down my nose, put plenty on, that's fine. We're gonna be blending it here in just a minute. A couple of dots and some dark spots. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well. We've had the wedding and the disaster of spilled milk in the motor home, which we've been working on, so. Now I'm just going to put a little on here for some highlight and eye primer for my eyeshadow. A little right here to give me a little highlight here. And to thin down my nose right here a little bit. And then right here where I got a, a zit and a few dark spots right here. Okay, a little tiger look and a little highlight right there. I got a little crease starting right here. I'm going to kind of fix that here in just a minute. Now. There's a couple of different brushes here that you can use for this. I mean, you could really get detailed and use something like this, but I like this brush right here. Okay. Kind of use that and kind of work my way around in here with some highlights into that rich tone makeup I used earlier. And I'm just going to kind of pat. I love the softness of this brush and I got my brushes on eBay. And um, they don't even, I don't even think they have a name brand. Just look for the pink and gold. Just put pink and bold, gold makeup brushes on eBay and some will pop up. And I got this set. I mean, I love, I love my brush set. So it comes with all kinds of brushes that you can have fun with. Again, we're just going to keep that highlight down the center of the nose, kind of blending it in. And we're going to kind of blend in down in here into our cheeks. I naturally have, you can see here, I naturally have red cheeks. Keeping my highlight at the top of my lip. That'll look really good when I get my my uh, lipstick on. Okay, there we go. And getting this crease and all these creases right here, and getting a little bit of the shadows off of those. Okay, anywhere where you think there should be a highlight. And I'm gonna go back through on the side of my nose and I'm going to Blend that back in with that rich color. I'm going to grab a little bit more of a angled but kind of a round brush there. Angled but round. And I'm going to start my contouring. And try to get up here where the light doesn't bother you. And you want to hit the contour in this area here. And I'm not doing, this is just a bronzer. 
And again, it doesn't have a name on this bronzer. So any bronzer, any Bare Minerals bronzer would work. And you can do this instead of blush. With that richer tone uh, makeup and with a tan, you don't even need blush, especially if you have a natural, you know, blush like I do. But if you need it, add a little blush. And then I just kind of lightly, okay, and I just naturally kind of detail it out right here. Giving me a little bit stronger looking jawline right here. And then right up in here, I'm going to hit right up in here with a little bit of the of it. And this is just the bronzer. I'm going to up, up in here into the side of the nose. I'm going to hit right in here just a little bit. It makes me look a little sun kissed and it's not a really strong bronzer. So that's why it looked like I was using more than I should. It's not a bit more chapstick. And then I take just a simple Q-tip and I get rid of the makeup that I got inside my nose and my nose hairs. We do not want the powder and stuff on our nose hairs, especially when we get older. We have more nose hairs right here. I mean, trim them if you can, but look at the makeup that I got just off the inside bridge of my nose right here. Okay, now that may seem sick, but it's the way that it's got to be. And then and that way I don't have hair up inside my nose and I'm not like, cause I got like a little, my nose kind of like points up and I kind of get rid of that look just a little bit there. All right, next and is blush. You can take, I have several blush brushes. Uh, you can do several things, but I still like the same uh, little bit rounded angled one. That's still my favorite one. And I dip into my Bare Minerals blush here. And I'm almost out. I just ordered some, and this is Organza, and they don't make that one anymore. So I had to switch to another color, and I think I, um, I can't remember the name of the collar that I matched up with. I think it was called Honeywell or Honey Eyed or something like that. I don't remember now. I'll have to get the name of the collar when it gets here. But I still have a little bit of the detailer inside here. So with that being the case, I don't really want... And I always go up, up, and then this general area. There you go. You don't want to overplay the cheeks. Um, and you can see the color of that. It's a little bit more of a, can you see that color? It's just a bare minerals. Oh, and this is by um, Senna. S-E-N-N-A. S-E-N-N-A. And as in Nancy. Eyebrows and eyes. Actually, I'm gonna do that last. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lipstick. I know I'm out of order, but. Um, this I picked up at Big Lots. It is by L'Oreal, and it's just a plum. You can see the collar there and the collar strip here. It's just a plum. It's called Satiny Cocoa. And Actually, it didn't go on as it normally does because I might have had a little bit too much wax on my lips. And then I always take a couple dots right above, right here. couple dots there. It's not, a, it's not a really deep colored makeup at all. And then I take this round brush here and I just blend that up a little bit. Next color is by CoverGirl and I just got this and it's number 425 and I cannot read the name of it but it is number 425. You can see it's brand new. And I'm just going to outline with it just a little bit. And then this is by CoverGirl, and it's just a frosted pink. And we're just going to add a little bit of summer highlights to our lip. We're going to do the eyes. This is pretty simple for me, and I couldn't find I couldn't find my eye pencil sharpener for my eye pencils, my eyeliner. So I went out in the garage and got one of my uh, X-Acto knife things and used it. So anyway, um, I put this one on first because it's not real heavy, and I just. There you go. Follow the waterline and just a hair bit over it 
thickening up on this side and thinning down inside here. Okay, and we do the bottom. Older women, bring it in just right here. Well, that's what I mean by this color. It doesn't really... And they make little tools that you can use to help you do this a little better than what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm visually impaired, so I've, I've just learned to, I could probably put my makeup on without, you know how to do that challenge, how to put your makeup on without a mirror? I could totally rock that challenge, because I'm used to doing it without a mirror anyway, because I'm visually impaired. Okay. So now, the next one is just a different pencil. I don't even know what it's by. It's just a black brown by Noir. And uh, I think it covers better. So I go over the top of it because this is a waterproof liner. And, um, and it seems to stay on. But it doesn't seem to work and go on unless I put the other one on first. I don't know why that is. Right, and now I'm going to do the wing. Another wing. Just kind of come over it and kind of lighten it and blend it just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to take, before I put on my mascara, I'm going to go ahead. Now, I'm going to show you this, if you can see this. I have really light eyebrows. I'm going to pick a color on my Earth Tone Color Palette from CoverGirl. These are very light pigmented colors, okay? So, um, with them being such light pigments, um, I don't like really dark colors on my eyes. That's just me. And I could go with blue and match my shirt or my eyes or whatever in the greens, but I'm not going to do that today. I really like the Earth Tone colors. So, I'm going to start out by doing my eyebrows and I'm just going to dip into the color that most matches my hair color which is this can you see that which is this orangish kind of color and then I'm going to take some of it back off here on the towel it takes just a little and I'm just going to go in here on that one enough I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to hit my eyebrows just a little bit just to define them just a little bit kind of following them along Kind of getting down inside the hairs there. I have really, really blonde. I have a lot of eyebrows, but they're just so blonde you can't see them. And again, I'm going to do the same thing here. Giving it a nice contour. Now you can see why I put um, this right here on my eye. Uh, this just helps me to contour and kind of helps that to pop. I need a little bit more on this one, I think. I'm a little try on this one. You can even, if you want, dip into a little darker color and really define them a little bit more on the underside. Remember, it's like painting. So you can give your eyebrows even a little bit of highlights if you like. Too. You can always use this right here, and you can even do a little touch up if you if you have to. A little highlighting touch up. You just kind of go above the eyebrows and maybe below it, and you can touch it up a little bit. Define the eyebrows, you know, with some with some highlight and some low. See what a difference that makes? Okay. Blend in just a little bit more. Okay. 
So see that makes a big difference, having that highlighted above and below it and right around that area. And then using the two-tone eyebrows. I don't see a lot of people doing that, but when you have light eyebrows like mine, you can play with it just a little bit to kind of match up your, your blondish red hair color. So that's an advantage, I guess, to being a redhead that with blonde eyebrows, I guess. Okay, so then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here into this white. Right, so I'm just going to use this brush here, and I'm going to come into the white, and I'm just going to hit above my eyes right here and come right down into here. I want a little bit of the white and the highlight right down in here and then blend. Again, I'm just defining that brow bone. I know you're thinking, she's all over the place with that, but I'm not really. I'm, I'm actually just kind of highlighting those areas again just a little bit. Again, this is just my summer. You asked me what my summer look was. That's this is my summer look. Blend that a little bit better. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and come into here, and we're going to hit a couple of these. Uh, if you can see them here, these couple of these little collars across here, and we're going to go ahead and start. Now you can do this before you put on your. Um, you can do this before you put on your eyeliner if you'd like. I just put on my eyeliner first, I, I, just the way I am. I feel like my eyeliner doesn't stick if I put on the, uh, the eyeshadow first. So, And again, for summer look, I don't want a really, a summer evening, I don't want a really heavy look. A little highlight in the middle here. And now we're going to go into the little darker tone. You can see that? We're going to go into a little bit of the darker tones here, right in here. And we're just going to hit, let's see, make sure you can see me without me. And we're just going to hit right here, just a little bit inside the brow bone area right here. Don't want to lift, I got a big eye, so I don't want to lift that eye up too much or I look like my eyes are too big. I got to make my eyes look a little bit more closed. That's bringing that dark color in here a little bit more. Just a little bit more right there. And then down here, instead of bringing it up here, which would make the eye, the eye look more open up here, I got to bring it in down here a little bit more. My husband says this makes my eyes look a little bit smaller. I just naturally was born with uh, big eyes. And again, I'm visually impaired, so that's part of the reason. My eyeballs are very long. I'm nearsighted. I'm about a minus, well I was a minus, almost a minus 14. And now my vision as I get older is actually improving. But with it I'm losing retinas, so. Got some floaters that I'm battling now. So I see better, but I'm battling floaters. So it's not always a good thing, is it? Okay, go ahead and take this, this one here, it's kind of pointed. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all this together here. Try not to mess with your highlight in the middle of the eye there, on the middle of the lid. And again, I'm trying to go for that little bit more of a smoky look, but a light summer look. I don't want a heavy look. You don't, just don't want that heavy look on your makeup, okay? Now, again with my eyeliner, because I knocked some of that back off. And you can just readjust that just really quickly here. And again, by going on the waterline with that mascara, it makes my eyes look more closed than open. Okay, so I can scare you or I can look like this. So that's, <laughs> all right. So next we just put on a little bit of mascara. I have some long lashes and I have short lashes. lashes. So I really like this mascara. It is just a dollar store mascara, but it's the one mascara that I haven't had, I haven't had any eyelash loss to. And I, oh here it is, it's by LA Collars. Perfect Mascara, okay? By LA Collars. Make sure that you can see this. Okay. 
Okay, now this is my last and final trick for my makeup tutorial. And this is going to be if you have, when you get older sometimes your nose gets a little larger on the end. It's just the way that it is. You have that issue. Uh, mine seems to be, I've always had a really small petite nose. But you remember I put the highlight down my nose. I don't know if you can still see that. But I'm going to play on that highlight just a little bit. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a little bit more highlight, just a little bit. Because I want you to really be able to see it in the camera. And I'm going to highlight right here. Right down to the end of my nose. I'm going to blend that in just a little bit like that. Okay. Got a nice highlight. But what I, but again, it's like a painting. So you want to bring dark right through here and bring that narrowness right in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my eyeshadow palette right here. And I'm going to come in here with a medium to medium dark color. I'm going to barely touch my brush on it. Just barely flickering some of that back off. And I'm going to come in here and write down my nose right here. I'm going to draw a line. Do you remember the coin where you'd put uh, ink on the coin or pencil on the coin and you'd have somebody run a coin down their thing and they'd leave a line down? Okay, that's kind of the same theory. So I'm using a little bit darker tone than my skin tone. I'm keeping in that red category and I'm just doing this right here from the eyebrow down. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm putting this on dark because I want you to be able to see it. Trust me, I would norm normally not put in this much. I'm going to blend it in in just a minute anyway. All right. So, by doing this, and I'm going to get this so you can see. By doing this, do you see that line that I put right here? Do you see the eyeshadow line right there? Do you see now how, well, I'm sorry, with the, I guess you don't see anything with that light. Okay, so you wait like this and like this, and, and I did this dark so you can really see it, plus the highlights that I put on my nose. Of course, I'm not going to leave it like this, but you can see now how I brought my nose in, I brought my eyes a little further apart, and I made my nose look longer. Can you see that? Now watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a blending brush, and I'm going to blend that down, not, not up this way. I'm going to blend it down. This helps keep your nose. Now I put it on a little bit heavier than I normally would because I wanted you to be able to see it. So let me kind of work that out there just a little bit. I got it a little bit too thick. Okay. So now what do you see? You see a nice straight nose line. It's just a little trick of the eye that I learned. And here you have it. Pull this out. And my hair's caught. Ouch, I guess I gotta take my braid out. And remember, hydration, drink plenty of water. The older you get, the more your skin dries out because you don't have all those hormones and oils and everything from your menstrual cycle you know, from your menstrual cycle you don't have all that everything kind of starts drying up and shriveling trust me honey i know i'm just saying so anyway this is me um i'm just a couple months away from 50. i think i look really really good i have some hereditary wrinkles right through here and right in through here and um and i can go get those fixed um probably some botox wouldn't hurt me right in here Oh, that'd probably help my migraines, actually. Somebody told me to get some Botox that'd help my migraines, but I don't want to do anything that I have to continually keep up with. And financially, I mean, that's an expense. So if you can just take good care of your skin, keep yourself E-creamed, what I call vitamin E-creamed, and you keep your uh, skin hydrated, and use this Caldera cream as well, because I really like that. It really stopped this dry patchiness I had really bad right here. And you'd be surprised what your furnace or your heater is doing to your skin. That's my uh, summer hair and makeup tutorial. I mean, if you want, you can uh, do like what we call a messy braid to the side here. When your hair is still wet. 
And then at night, you can take it out of the messy braid and your hair has a nice, uh, uh, nice curly look to it. Uh, and I like that. So during the day, you just, hang on, let me come it back this way a little bit more. There we go. Just part it in threes. Make those threes as even as you can. Just give it a loose braid, just like this. Braid down as far as you like. I always go a little farther than I probably should, but there you go. Um, tie it off. I have some nice striping in my hair. You see that? I have some nice striping in my hair. And then, um, and then just kind of give it a little bit of a pull, just like this, just a gentle pull. And if you want, you can even pull some strands of hair out here and here, maybe in two places or one place. And that's called the messy braid. Sometimes to do things in the mirror makes it a lot harder. You have to rethink your thoughts there after yourself. <laughs> There we go. And then there's my hair. And my makeup. And this is my summer look. And just a nice top and a pair of, um, I don't know if you can see my hair. Just a nice top and a pair of uh, pedal pushers. Mm -hmm. Got it. You got your little summer outfit and a nice little hair band to match, okay? So this is a chef and builder, Jamie Pendleton. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of how I do my summer makeup. And again, it may take a little bit longer to look good in the summer, but my husband's taking me out in a few minutes. So I wanted to get my hair and my makeup done. And I didn't really have to spend that much time on my hair, as you can see, because it just kind of did its thing. But anyway, I love you. And don't forget to go over and uh, name, I've got to name our on the road uh, show for our RV on the road. And we're coming up with some really good names over there, like anything from Rambling Roads to uh, On the Road Rambling with John and Jane Pendleton. I mean, we've got all kinds of ideas. So head on over there and be sure to enter that contest. We have some really good prizes. Well, we have one big prize so uh, it's for the winner, and we're not even telling that. It's the surprise prize. But it's going to be a nice uh, prize. Anybody who knows me knows I like giving things away, and this is something new, and you're going to like it, and it has to do with camping. I will tell you that. Prepping and camping. Uh, bug outs, anything like that, you will like this prize. So head on over there to uh, that video. I'll put a link right here so you can head over there and uh, help us name our new travel show. Okay? This is a chef and builder, Jamie Pendleton. I never know where to look. I feel like I'm looking at myself because I'm talking to you, but I actually, because that's where I'm used to looking, but right here. I'm looking at you right here. All right? So be sure and head over there. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and be sure and join us because we have a lot going on on our little homestead. This is Chef and Bill or Janie Pendleton. We love you and God bless you and stay safe and have a wonderful weekend ahead. Blessings. And a big hug. Oh my goodness.